Hi, my name is Willie, and today we're going to be doing oil. So I'll show you where all the drain plugs are at. We'll start with the transmission. I'm going to be running the tractor hydraulic and transmission oil in the transmission. And I have a James Oil Gold filter number 1068 for the transmission as well. So I clean all the dust off from around the plugs, try and prevent the uh, dust contamination. So here's my drain plug right here, here's my fill plug, and this is my vent. So the drain plug is right here, the fill hole is right here, and you just fill this right up to the threads. The cap only needs to be hand tight, doesn't need to be super tight. And then the vent is right here, a little el uh, elbow that comes out over here. And like I said, try to keep the dirt out from around the fitting so it doesn't get into the transmission. I let this already drain overnight. And another word of caution is check your oil lines periodically. These ones aren't really all that good a condition. They really should be changed, so I'm going to have to keep an eye on those. But keep an eye out on some, for some leaks. I'm a little, on a little bit of a budget right now, otherwise I'd replace these hoses. But these hoses are, aren't leaking, but they, are, they do have a little bit of oil residue on them, but something to keep an eye on. Uh, these oil lines run up to the filter. And I have drain pans up underneath here. There's, how many is there? I think there's two pans down there and one pan in the front. Now this is the beveled gear box. You don't want to forget about the beveled gear box. Let me find a spot for this light. The beveled gear box gets the input from the engine and splits it over here to the PTO and the drive belt. You should change this oil as often as you change the engine oil. But there's a drain hole right here. And this would be your fill, as well as the fill has a dipstick on it to make sure it's got the right amount of oil in it. You should check your instructions as to check the proper fill level. So this one I'm probably going to go up about, uh, it looks like there's a little dot here on this one. Hard to see right here. I think I'm going to fill it up to that dot. And that goes in the top up here. So I'm going to have to put the drain plug in and fill it in from up here. And the engine oil drain plug it is up underneath the frame here. Hopefully not drop the phone in the oil. Yeah, there's a hole right here. They pull the this plug out of right here with a socket. Now drain your your engine oil. Okay, all the oil has been drained, so I got to pull all the plugs back in everything before I start filling everything back up. So let me get all those plugs back in, which the tools can vary depending on the tractor. Make sure you look up your factory recommendations in case they vary a little bit. This is an Alice Chalmers 712H. Uh, this is a Sunstrand transmission. The oil filter is located here up underneath. And I once I pull the filter off, I clean the dirt out from where the seal surface is at as well. And you got to put oil on your filter seal ring, that rubber ring, so it doesn't get stuck on there and it'll seal properly. Uh, there, the Vickers have a filter insert. This has a thread-on filter, the sun strands. So let me start putting all the plugs in then I'll fast forward through filling everything up with oil. Uh, as far as I've found information is the transmission should take about three and a half quarts. I'll find out the engine takes about two quarts, and that's going to be small engine oil, 1030. And I'm going to use, any kind of gear oil is fine, but I'm going to use severe gear oil, so a little more money, but I think that'll be better protection. And obviously the filter is for the transmission, okay? So I'll turn you on a little bit. Okay, I topped the filter off with oil for the transmission.
And I'll continue on with this. I'll put you on pause. Yeah, I got it filled up with oil now. Uh, it takes forever to get it all the way up to the top, but this is good enough for me. I'm going to go up underneath here. Just needs to be hand tight, doesn't have to be super tight. Okay, we're going to start the gear oil for the beveled gearbox, also known as a BGB. <laughs> and this funnel fits nice and tight, it's not going to wobble out. So I'm going to start with a quarter of a quart, so once I get that quarter of a quart in, I'll turn you back on. Okay, I put my quarter of a quart in. I got my rag right here to put the funnel on, and here's my dipstick to check it. That makes things a little easier. No, nope, we're not in the dipstick yet. So I'll have to continue on. I'll put another four ounces in, turn it back on. Looks like we're touching the dipstick now. So I'll continue on. That is twelve ounces so far. We're at a half a quart now. And we're a little above where that one mark is at. We're about an inch up the dipstick. So that should be good. As long as we're on, we're good. Maybe a little bit more than what it needed, but I don't think extra oil is going to hurt this. All it is is two gears and two shafts. And four bearings. <laughs> Not too complicated in there. Worst case scenario, it'll leak out a little bit. So I'll tighten down that drain plug or fill plug, sorry, and move on to film the transmission. Okay, I got my oil. That's my fill plug and my vent plug. That's my 1030. That's my hydraulic oil. And my hydraulic oil. And some more hydraulic oil. So let me start putting that in. And we'll see how much it takes. A little bit of time. I've already cleaned the funnels out as well. So I'll turn you back on once I get close. Okay. Okay, I just put about two and a half quarts in. So we got about a half a quart left. And we're filled up to the top of the threads here in the tube here. So we're just gonna put this in hand tight for now. And we're gonna stick the, the vent plug back in. And I'm gonna move on to doing the engine oil. So Let's get set over there and move on. This one should be a little easier because I got a dipstick on this one. Once again, I'll follow that. Fits nice and tight. So let's continue on with this one. And I'll turn you on when I'm ready to check it. Okay. Yeah, I got a rag down here on the floor right next to the dipstick. I'll set the funnel there. Make sure there's no dirt. 
So about a third of the way up the safe zone. So I've still got a ways to go. Just added another six ounces. So we'll see where it's at. Oh, we're only halfway now. I guess I'll put the rest of the oil in left in the quart. Yay, we're just a hair below the full mark, but not much. We're good. And a little tip. I had used a blow gun to blow all the debris out from underneath the, the frame where the drain plug was at for the oil, the engine oil. I used a blow gun because I couldn't get a rag up in there and that was to keep the dirt from getting into the engine. So all the oils are topped off and up to the full marks. And I still need to bleed the hydraulic system. So I'm going to leave the bypass valves open in the back here. So I have, oh, sorry, can't see anything. I have the uh, relief valves open right now. So that would be a normal run position and these buttons come up. That's another thing if you ever have any drive issues, make sure these buttons aren't sticking. And periodically make sure you clean off any dirt off the top of these every once in a while. Uh, you should be cleaning the grass out of these covers as well. Clean the grass off if you can with a blow gun and make sure these don't get jammed up. But I'm going to leave these in the closed position. What's going on here? Huh. Gotta leave these in the, I'm sorry, the open position so I can bleed the system. So, engine oil is good, and belly gearbox oil is good, and the transmission oil is good, and, and all the plugs are in, including the caps. I don't have anything sitting on the tractor, so. Let me open up the garage doors and we'll fire this baby up and go through the motions a little bit, get some oil moving through them. pumping oil now. Good. I can hear the bog in the, or the load on the engine says it's moving oil. I'm going to take the key out so nothing can happen by accident. Now I got to Pull that vent first, then I can open up the cap. And that's catching some oil that dripped off down here from some overflow. We'll see where our oil is at. Yeah, we're gonna need to add some more. Let me grab my light. Hard to see, but it's it's a little bit low. So let me add some, and we'll fill her up, and then take her out for a test run and get everything out of the way. Okay. Okay, it looks like it was three quarts exactly. Right up to the fill mark. So I'm going to put that on. This only needs to be hand tight. Doesn't need to be that tight. And this needs to go back up in there. This one I'm going to tighten down though. Okay, and that's just a little bit of oil dripping off from when I was filling it. Okay, so when I turn you back on, I'll be 
Take her out for a test spin. Okay.